We go on campus now to continue our early look at week five. Our insiders with some under the radar players who need to step up, starting with USC insider John Jackson. Thanks, Bonnie. Well, for my player under the radar, I have to go with a unit for the Trojans, and that's the offensive line. Uh, this offensive line is so critical to what the Trojans are trying to do. They're in a hurry-up offense, obviously, which means they have to control the football and not give it back to the opponent as they did against Boston College. If there's two people out to signal out on that offensive line, Toa Lobendon and Damian Mama, key factors because they're both true freshmen. For more on the Broncos, let's go to Boise State and check in with Pete. Thanks, John. This is Pete Cavender, your Boise State football campus insider. One player to watch for this weekend's game against the Air Force Falcons is tight end Jake Rowe. He's fourth on the team in receptions. He has 11 for 118 yards, and he's going to be an important piece for the Broncos offense to keep the chains moving on third downs especially, hopefully keep that triple option attack of the Falcons on the sideline. With more information from Athens, let's throw it to Jeff. Thanks, Pete. I'm looking at Leonard Floyd and Jordan Jenkins. Georgia's bookie and outside linebackers have big games, and they're going to have to if Georgia's going to win. They must get to Justin Worley. If he's allowed to stand back in the pocket without pressure, he could pick Georgia's young secondary apart. Those two were great in Georgia's win over Clemson. South Carolina, meanwhile, did a great job blocking those two, and you saw the results.